Okay, so we saw how we could pass the values inside the text boxes to the worksheet itself. Now we are going to discuss how we can pass values to the worksheet by using option buttons. Option buttons are a little bit different. Instead of a user inserting a value, they are either clicking option button 1 or option button 2. So our goal for this video is that if the user selects the type 1 option button, we want a text value that says type 1 to be inserted into the type column. And if the user selects type 2, then we want a text value saying type 2 to be inserted into the type column. Now we could double click on one of these option buttons to open up the code module and then execute lines of code when one of these option buttons is clicked. But for this example, it would be better to add the code for the option buttons inside the add button module. This is because we don't want to execute lines of code as soon as the user clicks on one of these option buttons. So instead, once the user clicks on the add button, our code will enter all the values within these controls at the same time. So let's go ahead and double click this add button. And I'm going to create some space between the item text box line and the price text box line so our code can go in order of our columns. Now this is not critical, it just organizes our code a little bit more to go in the same order of our columns. So like I said before, users cannot insert values into option buttons. They can only click on the option button. But these option buttons do store values. And let me show you what I mean by that first, so you can get a better understanding on what values these option buttons store. So just like our item text box and price text box, we are going to write the same line of code that says cells, last row, and this time for column 2, because type is in the second column of our worksheet, equals, and the name of our option button is type 1 OB. And sometimes you might not remember what you named your control. And instead of going back into your form and looking at the properties window to figure out the name, what we could do is type in me, which is referring to the user form, dot, and we can either scroll down this list, or if we just start typing in our option button name, which is type 1, we can see in our list that it says type 1 OB, and that's the name of the option button. I will leave the me in front of our button if you need to remember how to view all the control names within the user form. And then lastly, we can put dot value. Okay, so for cells last row column two equals type one option button. Now let's see what value gets placed if we select the option button. So if we come over here and click add item, and we can just type in another item number. And if we select type one option button and then click add, exit out of this, that option button passed the value of true. So this means if the option button is clicked, it stores the value of true. And if it's not clicked, it stores the value as false. So in our code, we can write if the option button is true, then pass this text value. So let's go back inside the add button code module and I will just comment out this line. So once we run this sub again, this line does not get executed. And right below that, we can start writing the code to pass the values that we want if the option buttons are clicked or not. So what we need to do here is create a if statement. So if type one OB equals true, then cells, last row, column two, equals, and we want to specify the type of this item number. So if the option button for type one is selected, we want to insert type one. Now we need to expand this if statement to pass a value if the option two button is clicked. So here we can add an else if. So if type one option button is clicked, pass type one, else if type 
to option button equals true, then cells last row column two equals type two. And then we need to close out our if statement by putting end if. So once again, if type one option button is clicked, which is true, then pass type one. And if the type two option button is clicked, pass type two. So let's run our user form and see what we get. If we click add item, add a new item number. And if we select type one, click add, we get a 107 type one. And then if we add another item and make this one type two, click add, then it inserted type two. So that's how we can pass values if one of the option buttons is clicked. So we are making really good progress with this user form. Now in the next video, we will see what these combo boxes are all about.